until they become born again, follow up has not started. Be thou diligent. It's like he's talking to one person. Thou, yourself, take the message as if this is just coming to you. Take the message as if the standing of the believer. And the strength of that new convert depends on you and you alone. And you are diligent. Be diligent to know the stage of thy flocks. Not only of one convert, not only of two converts, of the flocks. First of all, you have to know. If you don't know the need, how can you meet the need? If you know, don't know their challenges, how can you answer those challenges? If you don't know what they're going through, you never interact with them and you never see them. How do you know what they're going through without diligent? Then to know the state of thy flocks and look well to thy flocks. You see, Paul the Apostle was not able to get everywhere because he evangelized quite a lot. He went to this city and that city and that city. And it was uh, impossible for him to follow up on everyone. Therefore, he sometimes sent other people to stand in for him, to represent him, uh, and then to know the state of the flocks over there. I know that person is going to be diligent. If I were there, I'll be diligent. I will know the state of the flocks. I will know their spiritual experiences. I will know where they are standing. I will know where they are weak. I will strengthen them. And these fellow were proved to be diligent in many things, but now much more diligent. Our diligence in follow-up must be scriptural. Scriptural. You see, there are people who just say follow-up, follow-up, and we're asking ourselves, what's follow-up? And who are the people we're following up? We're following up newborn babes in Christ. And the same thing in a follow-up, we need to understand. There are people who say they are Christians, and then we say we're following up on them, we're following up on them, and then we say they're not responding. And what's the matter with them? They're not responding. And we do follow up. And then we we'll say, sir, look at uh, all that we're, di we're diligent. And as we're diligent, we we'll run after them. We we'll teach them. We we'll do this. We we'll do this. And yet, they are not responding. You know what? The people you have to follow up are those who are truly really born again. The other people who are not born again, you're not following up on them. You're teaching them repentance. You're teaching them, you're evangelizing them. You're telling them what it means to be born again. When we say we're following up, what do you do? How do you follow up somebody? How do you disciple somebody? What are the things you are going to share with them and you, as you are going to them? What is it that you are going to emphasize? We're discipling them and then we we'll make sure they're truly born again in the scriptural sense of discipleship. We nurture them on commitment to the Lord. Commitment to the Lord. And that's what we're doing. You say you are following up on somebody and you are following up on them so that they are committed, completely committed unto the Lord. That's the purpose, that's the essence, and that's the progress, and that's the process of the follow up. You want them to cleave to the Lord, not to depart from the Lord, not to look back again, not to compromise, and not to backslide, but to cleave to the Lord. Our follow up should make sure we tell them of the essence of making heaven on the final day. What was the point of follow up? You know, I've been spending my life on that individual. I've been spending my resources on that, uh, on that family. I've been spending my skill on those groups of people, but they're never holy. And if Christ comes, then I'm going to make it. And then you've wasted the whole of your resources and you've wasted your life. Remember, be diligent to know the stage of thy flock. Where do you work? What do you do? What, how do you make your money? How do you trade? How do you do your marketing? And in all those areas in their family life and everything, you're teaching them that there should be holiness unto the Lord, holiness in the presence of the Lord, because holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. As you are doing the follow-up, you are looking diligently about yourself, about your own personal life, and about the lives of the people you are following up. You will not be a source of defilement. You will be a source of strengthening in Jesus' name. And everything the Lord has given you to do, the power, the courage, the backbone, the authority, the anointing to do, will overflow in your life. Let's rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer. Let's pray that the Lord will help us that 
we will disciple Christians as well as multiply the church of the living God.